What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Saturday morning, enjoying some freaking coffee and just getting this day started, man. Saturdays are always good to me. Saturdays, and it's not even that Saturdays good to me. I'm good to Saturdays. You know what I mean? You got that vibe needs to be there, man. I've been in cells, and this is all. Uh, all this is going to be a rant, okay? So this is going into the playlist rants of an entrepreneur because that's what this really is, man. It's a freaking rant. Saturday mornings in cells. I've been in cells for the past 20 freaking years. Okay. Sales jobs, sales, marketing, um, advertising in many different forms, closing deals, bottom line, building businesses, whether I was building my own business or I was building a different type of business, or I was involved in network marketing and building a network of business. Um, whatever it may be, man, at the end of the day, you're trying to bring on a new customer, you're trying to bring on a new client. Um, and there's really nothing else to it, man. And even if you have a freaking job, even if you have a normal job, wherever you work, you work at the mall, you work at you work downtown in some corporate office, whatever the hell you do. Here's what's so crazy is that and shout out to my boy, I believe it's Kirian. Kirian, Kirian, I'm sure that's I, I Male or female, dude, shout out because you're on your Instagram, it, you have a freaking, your profile is a freaking guy, right? So I'm thinking that's a guy's name, Kirian. I love that name, whether it's a male or a female, whatever, freaking Kirian. I love that name. I just need to know how to pronounce it. But it, it all comes down to this question where it just kind of a lot of thoughts just brewed in me, man. And I'm like, dude, you know what? Let me answer this freaking question. Let me get on camera and let me just give my two cents because this is deep. And that's why I don't want to go on too, too long. And I don't want to rant too much about this, but it is a rant. It is a rant. It, it, it's a rant. It's a rant. This question is going to tie into, into, my, in, in, into my two cents just on 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 just on on saturday mornings and 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 business and sales and just entrepreneurship in general those of you that are aspiring those of you that are wannabes those of you that are entrepreneurs those of you that are entrepreneurs it's like dude no matter what side of the entrepreneur coin you want to say you're on it, it it it's not easy no matter what man no matter what Everyone has certain fears. Everyone has certain doubts. Everyone second guesses themselves to a certain extent. Yes, you have confidence. Yes, you have a high self-esteem. Yes, you freaking know how to do your job very, very well. But you still have your own thoughts and negative bullshit that you deal with. We're all human. You know what I mean? Like I, I deal with bullshit all the time. Like, gosh, dude, that'd be a whole new YouTube channel if I could just talk shit on you know, what I go through daily, but I try to keep this channel on business. I try to keep it on, on day in the life of what I'm doing and what I'm going through. And as I build my YouTube channel and as I build my following and as I attract like-minded people and even people that are half my freaking age, I honestly believe because of experience, I have a lot of shit to say. And so do you, man. That's why I'm big on courses because we're now in the e-learning era and people will buy your experience. People will buy your knowledge. Bottom line, bottom line. If you can help someone, if you can bring value to someone, if you can, if you can teach someone based on your experiences, um, if you could teach someone how to be better, how to get better, you know, we're all looking to be better, man. And, 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 it, and it goes for in all kinds of things, right? We're all from different parts of the freaking world. But here's the crazy part. We all have, there's a common denominator, man. We're all after somewhat the same thing. We're all after the same thing, you know? And, and that's why I got people that are on this channel that are starting to follow me that I, that I truly believe are probably half my age and, and, and really seeing, damn, dude, maybe I can do this. Maybe it is, it, it, if I can just find the right mentor, if I can just find the right direction, I can, I can do the same thing. And, and that's what I'm all about, man, is, is courses, teaching people, bringing value and and knowing that that what i'm doing you for sure can do and what am i doing building a business online what am i trying to do build a business online forget about what i'm doing i am doing it but let's just humble it down even further what i'm trying to do every day because it's a practice whether you're practicing law whether you're practicing medicine whether you're practicing criminal justice, whether you're practicing freaking a sport, whether you're practicing going to school, whether you're practicing accounting, whether you're practicing 
being a baker or a cook. We practice our craft. You have to literally put in thousands of hours and years and years and years before you perfect your craft. That is a fact. We're all practicing, man. We're all getting better. And that's why back to what my buddy here, Carrie Ann, was saying is that I am hesitant to start my own agency because of legal issues. And that's what I'm saying, man. It, I opened up the video talking about Saturday morning because you guys can't see it, but I got a view out my window and, and I just, I just love this natural light. Sometimes it's a little darker, but who cares, man? No one cares. No one cares. Right. But it's Saturday morning where I'm at. So depend on where you're at, depend on when you're watching this video, man. Salute, salute to you. Salute. Cheers. Morning, brew. Morning, brew. Got to get cracked out somehow, man. Got to get, you got to be crazy, man. And that's why, Carrie Ann, I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. Being hesitant to start your own agency slash company, what does that even mean? Like, what does that even, you know, what, what, what's the definition? You know what I mean? Like, First of all, being hesitant to start anything, dude, the hell with an agency, the hell with a business, being hesitant to start anything will kill you. And that's why you want to definitely read. You definitely want to start reading. What I would do, man, because to tell you the truth, again, it looks like you're half my age. I could be wrong. Who knows? But um, no matter what age you are, it, it, learn from people's experiences. You don't got to do them yourself. That's why I don't know what book it was that I read in where it's like, dude, actually it was Warren Buffett. It was Warren Buffett. It was some type of quote, which I don't know the exact quote, but I remember him saying, um, you don't have to, was it him or Bill Gates? I think it was Warren Buffett. I think it was Warren Buffett. It was one of them, Warren Buffett or Bill Gates, but they said, um, you don't have to learn from your own mistakes you can learn from others like you can learn from other people's mistakes you can learn from other people's experiences that's why i love books i'll read books of people that are 90 years old you know what i mean like i'll read books that are 75 years old because i want that history i want that wisdom i want that knowledge i want to know where people screwed up because they'll tell you and you can read about it and you can learn from it you know what i mean like so being hesitant in anything bro like in anything will kill you. Like it, if, if your heart, if the intuition that you have, if your gut feeling, you know, is, 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 is now sometimes that can work in your favor. Sometimes you could be going after something you really, really want so bad. And that's why you're nervous to go after it. It could be that feeling as well, but chances are if it's a hesitation because of, I don't know, because there's something deeper where you just, maybe you, you, you it, it's not, you're not cracked out to do that. You know, if it's that negative gut feeling or that negative, you know, vibe or that you're like, dude, nah, I'm hesitant. Nah, I don't know if I want to do that shit. If you're like that, then yeah, dude, don't do it. Because if you got to feel it, you got to feel it. You got to, that's why, that's why I opened up the video talking about Saturday mornings, because while most people slept, I was up, I was grinding. I was making that next call. I was reaching out, sending that next email. I was messaging that person back. I was on appointments. I was on calls. I was closing deals on Saturday morning. You know what I mean? And, 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 and be, because there's no hesitation, most people hesitate. Most people are comfortable nine to five. They go home. 5 p.m. It's like, dude, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You're watching Netflix or let's just say 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You're doing household shit, dinner, kids, whatever. If you got kids. And if you don't got kids, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? If you got a nine to five, okay, you're getting your grind on, you're hustling, I get it, hat off to you. If you're going to school full time, full time, I'm not talking part time bullshit. I'm not talking about, don't tell me you go to college and you're going to a freaking community college and you go part time. Don't tell me that. That's like bullshit. That's like, why even go? You better be going hardcore full time. I'm talking full credits, full time if you're a student, right? If you're, if, if you got a job, I ain't talking about you part-timers. I'm talking about full-time. If you got your grind on, you're working nine to five, you're working eight to six, you're working a full 40 plus hours and you got to commute, right? And you, and it takes you 45 minutes to get to work, right? I'm talking to you. You know what I mean? Like you guys that are grinding, you guys that are grinding. A lot of people just grind. They grind that day and then that's it. They're like, hell no. Saturdays, man. Saturdays. Saturdays. You guys are sleeping and you guys are hesitant on Saturdays. Make those calls on Saturdays. Go knock those doors on Saturdays. Go freaking get and schedule appointments on Saturdays. 
people love Saturday morning. People are home. People are, are getting their kids ready for, for the day. You know, business is, is that one extra deal, that one extra deal a month, that one extra deal a week. Be, because you work Saturday mornings, you got one extra deal a week. That one extra deal a week paid for a brand new Lexus. That's just the way it works, man. That's just the way it works. You can't be hesitant on shit, bro. You cannot be hesitant on anything. Let's get to this question. He, first of all, don't be hesitant. If you're hesitant for any negative, if there's a negative vibe, if there's a negative gut feeling, this ain't for you. Agency or not, it's not for you. Entrepreneurship may not be for you if it's that type of hesitancy, right? But if it's the type where you're excited, then let me know about that. Comment below. Let me know. Is it is it excitement? Are you hesitant because of excitement? But I, but I'm I'm thinking it's because of fear because you're thinking legal issues, right? What legal issues, bro? Like here here's the deal. There's a there's there's well I don't know exactly how many small business owners are, but there's definitely over a million. This country was founded. This country was built on the small business owner. So there's millions of small business owners, right? When it comes to small business, man, what are you selling? It comes down to your product or service. Now, if you're doing something shady as shit, bro, you better be working in a different country. You better be remote. You better be freaking, you know, um, hiding your shit. You better be offshore. Like you, come on, dude. What are you really? What are you like trying to build some type of commu computer freaking, you know, program? Like, what are you doing that you feel you may have to deal with legal issues? right? As long as you're providing a good product or service. And here's the thing, dude, whether you're an entrepreneur or an employee, you, it's still a hustle. Like we're still all hustling. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter if you're a student, it don't matter if you work for someone and you're, you have some sales job or whatever, it does not matter. You're still on your grind and you still have to hustle and you're still selling something. You're still selling something. So you'll have legal issues. If you're an employee, you'll have legal issues. If you're an employer, if you're selling bullshit, you know what I mean? Like if you're doing shady stuff and, and shady stuff, the only thing you need to worry about, bro, when it comes to legal issues in business, in my opinion, as a beginner, as a brand new entrepreneur trying to sell some shit, the only thing you need to be worrying about is freaking is, is, is not charging credit cards, right? Not having credit card information laying around. First of all, not charging credit cards fraudulently. Okay. Second of all, and, and, and third of all, um, delivering on your product or service, because if you don't deliver on your product or service, people will be pissed off and people will refund. People will charge back and they'll refund. And that's not good. Those are the only legal issues. Ain't no one calling the cops on you. No one's getting their lawyer on you. You know, no, no one's doing that. If you're a small business owner, you're just starting out, you're selling something online or you're servicing clients and you're doing marketing services for them. As long as you deliver on your word, as long as you deliver on your service, no one's tripping. Police ain't coming after you. The attorney isn't coming after you. No one's coming after you. So there ain't no legal issues, bro. Like as long as you're, as long as you're not dealing with credit cards in a, in a bad way, you're good. As long as you're delivering your products and services and over delivering, that's what you want to do, man. If you're a service based business and you're out there getting clients over deliver, over deliver, over deliver. If you're doing marketing services, if you're doing marketing services, social media marketing services um, for small business owners in 2020 and beyond, what I would do because it's what I do is I start small with them. I start small with them. I start small with them. I scale up um, and, 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 and I over deliver. As long as you're doing that, dude, you're going to end up having a freaking uh, a, a, a squad of cheerleaders that are on your page giving you great reviews. Like if you come over here to my page, man, I ain't playing. I am not playing. You come over here to my page. And, and, and I, and I, because you got to over deliver, bro, you got to over deliver, you know, then your clients will, will start coming over here and start giving you, you know, reviews, start giving you reviews, you know, 34, 34 of my past clients, you know, just a lot of, a lot of people I've done business with helped out, you know, come over here and give a review. You need that type of credibility. You need that on that, that type of social proof. When you're doing stuff like that, man, and you're, you're on the up and up. 
there ain't no legal issues, bro. Like there ain't no legal issues. Okay. There ain't no legal issues. I'm worried that if I get involved with a business owner legally and I don't deliver on my promises or get them results, I might be committing some sort of crime. Oh, hell yeah. But here's the deal, dude. It's not a crime. It's not a freaking crime. So tr stop tripping on freaking law enforcement. No, dude, it's not a crime. What I, what, what, I, what, I, what I did mention earlier a, a minute ago is a crime. If you're dealing with credit cards and you're taking people's credit card and you're doing some fraudulent bullshit with their credit card, that's a major fine. Don't do that. But you're in business, man. You're, you're in business and you're out to provide a great product or service and there ain't nothing to it. So what you need to worry about, whether that, rather, than worry about all the, rather than worrying about all this bullshit right here, Worry about you getting better. That's it. So whatever service you're planning on doing, if you are trying to build an agency, what I, wa what I want you to do is I want you to go after one type of industry, okay? Don't go out there and service every industry. Don't service anyone who wants marketing services. No, say no to all of them. Say no to all of them. Focus on one. Go after doctors. Go after surgeons. Go after chiropractors. Go after spa owners. Go after gym owners. Go after yoga own instructors, yoga owners, yo yoga owners that have, owners that have a studio, not these individual ones that work out of a park. You know what I mean? Like, no, if you have a studio, then you got a real solid foundation. Let's bring some people here. You know what I mean? Then you can start running some ads. I just think that'd be better, but that's yoga. That's a studio. That's a gym, but, um, a real estate agent, you know, freaking, um, an insurance agent, you know, go, go out there and help the local restaurant. It's so easy to bring customers through Facebook advertising and Instagram advertising for a restaurant, for a local restaurant, even with a freaking YouTube video, with a for a local restaurant, you can crush it for a local restaurant. There's all kinds of promotions and coupons you can you can run on Facebook to get people to click and download a coupon. Like how simple is that? That's so stupid. It's ridiculous. There's so much, so many of these businesses, man, locally that need your help. Like they've all been screwed by other people that don't know shit. And and over over promised and under delivered a bunch of people who over promised and under delivered, right? And, and and when you're doing stuff like that, that's when you need to worry about legal issues, man. If if you ain't doing nothing like that, there ain't nothing like that to worry about. Focus on getting better. Focus on one niche. Focus on 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 that one craft. So if it's an agency, okay, great. What are you building? Are you building? Are you going to be? Do you want? Are you do you do you have services where? you're managing people's social media is part of your service running Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads. Are you going to be uh, posting for them every day? Are you going to be graphic designing for them? What exactly is your package or are your, what are your packages? Right. Um, get really good at that. Get really good at knowing and, and get really good at fulfilling, get really good at fulfilling because one thing that does start to happen is, because you're a closer, like I'm a closer, right? I, I, I bring on a lot of clients. You know, I brought on, brought on a lot of clients in 2019, right? Now we're into 2020 and, and, and now I'm shifting and pivoting and pivoting and, 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 and expanding and growing, right? Trying to get better. But, um, but, but what I was saying is that once you start bringing in a ton of clients, you got to be careful about this as well, because here's where there's no crime, but these are little things that you want to be, you know, looking out for. When you bring on a ton of clients and it's still you and you're still a solopreneur, it's just you. You have to fulfill those clients, and that's 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 where the time comes in, right? That's where the real time comes in. It might take you time prospecting. It might take you time closing the deal, right? But to go fulfill the actual order, that takes time. That's physical time. It, or unless you're running ads, you know, it's still physical time. You got to go set the ad, right? And then you got to you got to micromanage it to a certain extent. Um, that's physical time. You know what I mean? But, but, um, fulfilling when you're a solopreneur and you're building an agency and you're bringing on clients and you're worried about people being pissed off and you're worried about break, you know, breaking a, breaking a freaking crime, like, like breaking a law, committing a crime. You're worried about that type of stuff, right? It's because like, it's like, dude, you just got to fulfill, you got to fulfill your order. You gotta, you gotta deliver on your promise, man. As long as you're doing that, no one's tripping. And then, and then you also have a concern, or if I use copyright pictures on ads and so on, 
see that right there, bro. That, no, dude. What, first of all, when you're running, when you're running ads for local businesses, you're using their content. You're going out there and getting video. You're going out there and getting images. That's what, that's what you should be doing, right? You should have a dope little iPhone where, where you're going out there and getting images. And, 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 and if you don't have an iPhone, get an iPhone. Like I'm even talking to myself. I don't even have an iPhone yet. I got this freaking ghetto ass Android, but it's, it does take good picture and, 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 and it does take good video, but I do a lot of my video here. So, um, but even on this man, even on this, you know, I could take good pictures, but an iPhone way better iPhone. That's my next step. I'm going to be getting an iPhone very soon. Um, I'm just in the lab right now, man, in the lab, just grinding it out, grinding it out. So I'm not, and, and getting better, Carrie Ann, I'm getting better at my craft. So I don't have to worry about any of this bullshit, any of this bullshit, the copywriting, there's no copywriting issues that you need to worry about, man. If, if you're getting images off of Google, first of all, don't be, don't be getting images off of Google and using them for Facebook ads. So here's the deal. When you go and run Facebook ads and Instagram ads, Facebook has a million images for you. So, so when you go and run an ad, dude, let me just hone in on this copyright picture bullshit because it ain't nothing you worry about. I don't even think about this stuff, bro. That's why I'm glad. That's why I'm dropping time on this because I really wanted to school some of you guys on what a lot of people are thinking, like all this crap. No, dude, I don't want you thinking about none of this stuff. None of this stuff, okay? Again, when you're running Facebook ads specifically, Instagram ads specifically, Facebook provides the image. So you can go in and Facebook and you could type in when you're running the ad, when you're actually setting up the ad, it's in the third freaking um, pillar. It's down here in the ad. It's in the creative. So as you go into the actual creative, I could type in any keyword and Facebook will populate hundreds of images for me. And I can use one of those. So I'll never have to worry about copyright issues. You know, so if I came in here and I can, I can go uh, create ad. And this is the third step, right? You have the campaign. That's step one, what I call pillar one. You got the ad set. That's step two, right? And then you got the ad. It's in the ad where you can come over here, hit ad media, hit ad image. And then I can go down here, click on this and go to stock photos. And I could type in, let's just say luxury homes. So no, man, copywriting pictures, none of that bullshit. None of that matters, man. You don't got to worry about none of that stuff. I don't know. Mm -mm. Zero. As that populates, let's go on to the rest of your, to be quite frank, I am scared of starting because of this. I also don't know how to write privacy policies, cookie policies, or terms and conditions on my landing page. Okay. That's a great, that's a great uh, concern. That's a great concern. The last one to be, well, to be quite frank, I am scared of starting because of this. Yeah. Don't be scared of none of that, bro. No more. Okay. Let's, let's, let's erase all that crap. Take it out of your brain right now. Okay. Now let's deal with the privacy policies, cookie policies and terms. All you got to do, man, all you got to do is go to, go to, um, well, first of all, in Kartra, okay, I use Kartra for everything, my landing pages, and, 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 and let's bring this into a closing. I'll end it here. What you also want to make sure you have so you're not dealing with any legal bullshit is a good landing page software. You need a credible software, okay? I use Kartra for my landing pages, for my email autoresponder, because that's another thing you need to worry about. You don't want to be spamming anybody. You need, you need to be building an, a, a legit email list of people that are actually subscribing to whatever you're selling, right? Um, so I use Kartra for my email autoresponder. I use it to sell my digital products. I have different courses. I have an ebook. I use that under my products to sell my products. I use it for my pages, my landing pages. I use it for my membership course. I have a full blown course that I sell to my social media clients. Um, I build a social media agency full time. That's what I do. Um, but I also have a course. I, I use Karcher for my course. I use Karcher to host my videos. I use Karcher for my calendar because as I go and schedule appointments with my clients, as I send out emails and my emails go out with links to get people to schedule an appointment, 
they click on it, it goes to my calendar. That's my Karcher calendar. So I use my calendar for everything, man. All my appointment scheduling, my email broadcasting. Again, I have emails that are automated that are set up that go out automatically. And, and in them are links to get people to schedule appointments with me. And I drive it all to my calendar. So Kartra, I use it for that. And then I use it for all my affiliate marketing. So, um, so, so, so what I was saying is that you got to have a good landing page software. You got to have a good software that will also cover your ass. Okay. But, um, as I come over here, look at that. I type in luxury homes, all of these images, bro. I can use all of these images, click on the image, hit continue and use this as my image ad. Now I shoot for a lot of video. I, I try to do a lot of video. I try to tell my clients to do video. So images, images are cool, but I don't even use, I don't even use a lot of images to tell you the truth. But Facebook again has all the images there for you. When you run the ad and the ad goes live, obviously the Shutterstock, that, that basic you know text on, on the image, all that will be deleted, but it'll be a clean photo. Facebook provides that image, awesome images. They have hundreds of amazing images on any keyword. So um, I use images, I use their images for that if I ever do need to run an image ad. But again, again, if you're servicing clients, make them give you the content. That's key, okay? That's the golden, the golden rule. The content must come from them. That's why there's some clients that I don't even take on. Like there's clients that I don't even take on because they're, they're not content producers. I need you to be a content producer. I need you to be willing to drop a new video every week. If you cannot do that, I can't have a new ad for you out every day. And that's what I want. And all you want to do is capture leads, which is all I want to do for you. And this is how we're going to do it on my terms. Right? That's what I tell them bottom line. And so the ball's in their court to produce that video every week. Um, but if they can't, they can't, you know, no big deal, no big deal. But um, that's, that's, that's the bottom line because I'm using their content. And if they have images, if they don't want to do video, okay, fine. Do you have images? Like, do you have image? But, but even if in my case, if they don't have images, I can come over here and grab a ton of images. So I'm not even tripping on that either. I just know not to go to Google, not to use any of those images. But a lot of times it's when you're selling, like when you're selling something, if you're driving something to a product and you're, and you're selling a product and, and it's an image from something else, like it's a different image of, of you grab some other general t-shirt, you know, I mean, just some other random image of a t-shirt or whatever, or an image of something and, 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 it, and, and, some, and someone had it copywritten and you grabbed it from Google images because you did a super simple Google search, don't use those images, like, right? Like you, that's where you can get copyright you know, fines and, and, and people literally, there are a ton of people, man, a ton of people that will copyright an image, put it out on Google or put it out online and let people find it, right? They'll, they'll optimize the image. They'll literally get it prepped for SEO purposes so people can actually find it, right? And their whole intention is to, is to, is to throw it out, let people find it, and then turn around and sue them. There's people like that, man. There's people, I've heard so many horror stories um, on, on images, man. So yeah, I, there, that's a legitimate concern. But again, I'm telling you how to, how to, how to, how to deal with it. Don't freaking do that. Don't Google any damn image. Use your own. Use the client's images or come over here to Facebook and, and grab their stock images. And there's so many amazing stock images. And, and, and do it that way, man. Do it that way. So that's never a concern. And then the, the privacy, look, that's why I was going to show you a car trip. My bad. That's why I was going to show you a car trip. When you're over here on my pages, you come over here, click on the green one. We click on the green one and over here on the left or in the middle, it says um, legal. So I can come over here and I can get templates. Here's legal pages. I can get templates for um, different type of policies, whatever I want to call it, terms and conditions. Um, these can all be privacy policies as well. But here's what I did, man. And, and here's, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. So, so the template is here, right? There's, there's basic templates. You can use one of these templates um, and, and this becomes your privacy policy. So for example, on my page, here's all I did, man. Here's all I did. It's all the same stuff. When it comes to that type of stuff, this is all general jargon. Look, down here, I have my privacy policy. I have my terms of use. And on certain pages, I have the DMC or the freaking, the other bullshit, the other stupid freaking 
terms. Um, actually, I think I have it on. I think I have it on this page. I have more. Yeah, I have the privacy policy. I have the terms of use. I have the refund policy. I have the GDPR. I have the DMCA. And so all you all you want to do is just is just um, you can Google. You can easily Google that. Right. I click on privacy policy. It takes me to a Kartra page. Right. All I did is I simply privacy. I, I Googled privacy policy. I found one. I copy. I copied it and I freaking pasted it. And then I came in here and I changed everything to my name because all these privacy policies. Yes, yeah, certain. There's certain certain. Everyone has a certain certain criteria. Every company is a little different. But when it comes to this type of stuff, it everyone has the same privacy policy. Like you can change it up and put your name and, and, and do the little edits, put your address. Like here's my, my email, my address. I went in here and I edited it. Right. I, I made sure that I, 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 I put all my information in it, but the body it's like, it's all the same. It's all the same. Go to any, go to any real estate broker's website. Look at the privacy policy. It's all the same stuff. So what you can do is you can Google it, right? You can Google it. The terms of use, you can Google it. Or you can go to, here's what I did, man. Here's what I did. I Googled actually the, the, the privacy policy and the terms of terms and conditions. I actually Googled and then I just copied it. And then I made sure that I updated it to, to say my name. Okay. To, to say my name. Um, and I looked at 20 different terms and conditions pages, man. And, and what I did is I hacked all of my mentors. So I went to all of my mentors pages, go to, go to anyone's page, man, any, any digital marketer, any popular digital marketer, marketer, go to Ty Lopez. Look, go to Ty Lopez. Got, go to Ty Lopez or go to like a Sam ovens or go to any, like whoever the hell you're following, right? Hopefully you guys are following me, but damn, if they're, these guys are way bigger than I am. Right? So if you go to any of their pages, six and you you scroll to the very bottom and you look at their terms and conditions hack them look here's the terms and conditions right here um this this site is not part of facebook you can freaking hack that too this whole bottom part copy this entire thing edit it and put it on your page look here's his um Here's the terms of use. Here's a privacy policy. Click on that privacy policy. Copy the whole damn thing, and freaking edit it and and put it in put it in your terms. Put it in your, in your name because it's all the same stuff, man. This th these are all the same stuff. That's all you got to do. It's all the same stuff. Easily do that. Easily do that and put your freaking information, your contact and your contact us down here. Put yours, and and all you got to do is boom, copy the whole damn thing the whole freaking policy and just make sure, make sure 100% make sure to take out all of their name and just simply replace it with yours. That's it, man. Because the privacy policy, the terms of use, even, even, even the refund policy, even the refund policy does it even have a refund policy on this. Um, the terms, the terms and conditions, like, like hack, hack these people that you're following hack as long as they're legitimate, right? The legitimate ones. I'm talking about the legitimate ones and just simply copy that. And all you got to do is come in here to a Kartra page or whoever the hell your builder, your, your landing page builder software is right. Come into it and just freaking copy and paste the whole damn thing into your, into your page. And then that, that page, that link is what you would link to your page. So for example, on mine, you know, I'm linking, I'm linking them all to a different page, which is that policy page, right? So here's my refund policy, my contact information, you know what I mean? My company name, my social media links, all this stuff is, is me, right? And I just simply pasted that onto a new uh, page and I linked it onto my other page. So things like that, bro, that's freaking the last thing you need to worry about, man. That's the last thing you need to worry about. Focus on you. Focus on getting better. Focus on mastering your craft. Okay. Focus on mastering your craft. Um, and and go go all in. Go all in with one niche. Go all in with one niche. That way you can focus on that one niche. You can get really good at servicing that one niche. You can know everything about that one niche, the legalities, 
everything, right? You can go all in and, and, and really master that niche. And I truly believe that it should be something you're interested in. It should be something you're passionate about. Um, my whole niche is real estate. I, I come from mortgages. I come from the whole banking, you know, side of everything and, and, and real estate. And so that's my whole niche It's because I want to, I want to keep, keep doing real estate. I want to, I want to invest in real estate. I want to eventually have apartments, right? I want, I want to have that type of knowledge, right? So I surround myself with those types of people. And in this particular case, I'm building an agency around it and give and, and delivering marketing services to them, right? And that's my way into the door to network, build relationships and learn and continue to, to, to learn the jargon and everything that goes on within that industry because I'm fired up about it, right? You have to pick a niche that you're fired up about, man. Don't, don't go in. What a lot of people did in 2016, 2017, as people were trying to build agencies, what a lot of people were doing is going, in, go, going, going into it for the money going into it because they thought and they were pitched by their mentor that you can get 2500 a month out of people and it's not going to be an issue so go after people who have it go after the doctors go after the surgeons go after the dentists go after the chiropractors right and so a lot of people did that a lot of people did that and it's like dude it's like a lot of people didn't deliver and it's like you got to you got to go all in with one niche so you can get really, really good at it and you can deliver nothing but top notch value. So you never have to worry about the bullshit that can, that can come with business. But again, as long as you're on the up and up man and mastering your craft and delivering value and taking care of your clients and, and always putting the client first and always giving them the benefit of the doubt, even though customers are wrong all damn day, shit, not all of them are right at all. I totally get it, but you got it. You got to build your business that way. You got to have it. You got to build it with integrity. You have to, you have to really treat these people well, because for people to give you their dollar and, and, and really trust you, you have to deliver, man. And again, this is coming from experience. I've had those clients that were pissed off. I had those clients that, that asked for a refund. You get it. That's part of business. Like if you ain't, if you ain't getting refunds, you ain't doing it. Like, that's just the way it is, man. Like, it's like, there's no perfect business that has a 100% retention. Hell no. Amazon, you know how many, you know how many freaking returns Amazon does in a given day? Why don't you Google that? Why don't you Google that, smart guy? Why don't you Google that? Find out how many returns Amazon has on a given day. Why don't you walk into a Walmart and, and go look at the customer service return line? People are returning products to Walmart not 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 just every day but literally every minute of the day like how crazy is that like that's reality so that's not something that you're going to be able to i mean of course you can freaking do your best of course you can freaking as i'm saying put the customer first of course but you're not going to be able to satisfy everyone so don't think that's business that's not business either people are people and 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 people are entitled to think and do business with those they feel and think are the best. And for whatever reason, if you rub someone the wrong way, they have the right to refund or ask for their money back or not want to continue business with them, with you, right? So expect that. It comes with the territory, man, but it's not something you got to go around worrying about. So you got to fill it in your, in your gut. You got to have a, I truly believe entrepreneurship, man, it's not for everyone. And, and for years, I would always tell myself that my kids are going to be entrepreneurs, that my son, I want him to be an entrepreneur. I want him to be his own boss. I want him to own his own thing. I want him to, to, to be able to provide value and help way more people, right? And you do that through entrepreneurship. But at the same time, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. And nor do I want to push it on everyone. It's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Um, and so that's why you have to, you have to really fill it deep down inside. It has to be somewhat in your DNA. I truly believe we're born with it. I truly believe anything can be taught. Yes, but it's more than a teaching. Wanting to do something and wanting to change the world and wanting to impact it in any way, shape or form takes a different type of DNA. It takes a different type of person. That's why I'm not on here to preach entrepreneurship to everyone because not everyone needs to be an entrepreneur. Hell no, right? 
but if it's in you, you'll know it. If it's not in you, you'll also know it. And there's no, no, absolutely no problem with that. For all we know, you could be the, you could go on to be the freaking most high paid freaking attorney working for the largest firm in the country. You could be that person. I, I would always hear from Gary Vee because Gary Vee, one of my mentors, I learned a lot from that guy. He would always talk about freaking, um, 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 knowing he, he would always, he always talks about, um, um, what's the damn word? Shit. Give me a second. You guys, I'll get it. Um, what's the word where, where you have to know exactly, you have to be okay with who you are. What's the damn word? Um, shit. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Um, and I know we went on a long rant with this video, but I'll end it here. Um, but he always talks about, um, having, having, um, damn, I'll freaking think of the word, but it, but it comes down to knowing exactly what makes you happy. Like, like self-awareness. That's what it was. Self-awareness. He always talks about self-awareness and knowing who you are and being comfortable with who you are. He would always talk about that not everyone needs to be Mark Zuckerberg. He always talks about the, the person who is in charge at Facebook, who is number nine, is just as powerful. The person that's number five right now at Facebook, the executive that is number seven right now at Facebook, you got Mark Zuckerberg, and then you got six other mo the most powerful people on the team right below him on the team, on the Facebook team, right? He always talks about how person number nine, person number 10, person number 14 of Facebook is just as powerful than anything else. And, and that person didn't have to take on all the responsibility or all the liability that a Mark Zuckerberg position number one has to take on, but yet they still have a fulfilling life and they're still freaking hardcore successful, right? So entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Being the number two, being the number three of a corporation and going all in and being on that executive team and going all in and treating that company as if it was your own, that's not a bad position to be in either, man. So you have to have self-awareness. You have to know exactly in your gut, do I really want to build something? Am I really meant to go out there and really serve the masses and really change the world and change my little world? Now, you don't have to change the entire world. What, what, what I mean by changing your world is maybe putting a dent in that little community that you're passionate about. You're passionate about real estate? Okay, go help every realtor. You're helping. You're 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 passionate and fired up about insurance. Okay, go bring these services to insurance agents, right? Whatever, whatever it may be, it could be anything. You're fired up about food. You love cooking. You love baking. Okay, why don't you go provide some marketing services to the local freaking deli or the local restaurant or the local freaking donut shop or coffee shop? Go bring them some marketing services and and freaking tear their door down with new customers because of what you know you can do with digital marketing and paid advertising, right? Pick that niche that you're fired up about, man, so you can go out there and learn everything you possibly can learn about it, everything you could possibly learn about it, and, and, and you never have to worry about anything, man. Bring, bring value to people, and trust me, man, they will be more than happy to pay you for it, all right? So hope that helped you guys. I know that was a freaking rant. This is going into the playlist of rants of an entrepreneur because I just had to get all that shit off my chest. Don't be afraid, man. Go all in. And even if you fell, who gives a shit? You get knocked down, get back up. I'm telling you, man, you can get knocked down a hundred times. Just make sure you get up a hundred and one and you'll be fine. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the other side over and out. Peace. Start that business.